Okay, so I was planning to do a walk around tour of Baltimore City, but as my mother says, it's colder than Okay, so I'm John Ruckman. I'm the Charm City Property Dude. In this video, we're going to go over the three main reasons why property taxes in Baltimore City are so high. But before we get there, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button right about there. <laughs> and we're going to go over it. And if you hang until the very end, I'm going to give you a couple of ways that you can actually lower your property taxes. And it's actually easier than you think. Absolute number one reason. Let's back up the boat a little bit. So as a real estate agent, I do a ton of BPOs. That's broker price opinions. You probably don't know what that is. The banks will send me out to do a valuation on houses that are either in default or they want to get rid of their mortgage payment insurance. So they'll send me out to the house. In fact, I got three today. And uh, they'll send me out to the house to take pictures of the house. Uh, you know, and then I'll pull comps. And what I found with all the houses in the Maryland area is that taxes are usually 1% of the valued price, okay, of every house. And in the city, it's like 20% more. And the reason why it's so much more in the city is, is because the vacancy rate and vacancy of the homes is a lot higher than in the counties. So they have to overcompensate for those vacant houses. You know those blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks of row homes that are like on the west side? Yeah, those houses. So thank the investors who are coming in and renovating this ho these houses because then that'll put a family in there and they can start putting taxes into the system. But for now, there's so many vacancies and so many houses that are vacant, uh, they're just not collecting taxes on them and that's what the Number one reason why taxes in the city or any city for that matter is so high. Number two reason that taxes are so high in the Maryland area in general, have you seen the rows? They're absolutely beautiful. They actually collect revenue and this is something else I don't like about the state, but they collect, re if, if you don't mind me being brutally honest with you, um, they collect revenue and how they do that is they have tolls. There's one at the Susquehanna, there's one going across Route 50, there's two going through the tunnel and the average of the toll is, and I'm going to give you a way to save money on this tolls too is uh, like four bucks per toll and if you're driving a big truck with commercial vehicle it's a four dollars an axle so have you if you've seen the roads the infrastructure here is very expensive so then the taxes you pay for everything so if they have to install a new pipe if they every time they're redoing the roadway which white marsh seems to be a never-ending thing white marsh is between baltimore and hartford county uh, i often joke that the national uh maryland flower is the traffic cone I'm sure you've heard that one before um, but every time they put anything or do anything they have taxes so they collect taxes and if they're constantly doing that that's why the taxes are constantly high so uh, there's special assessments for new construction but that is the number two reason why taxes in the Baltimore area are so high because the infrastructure costs so much trash removal is free uh, maintaining the roadways uh, maintaining the parks maintaining the schools all that money has to come from someplace and guess who's it we're in now they do have those camera ticket lights they're everywhere uh that that company raised like it was like two billion dollars in one year the company gets 50 percent, and the state gets the other 50 percent. so they're all over the place and again guess where that money comes from out of our pocket so if you ever see those traffic cameras make sure you slow down so that is the number two reason why taxes are so high in the maryland area okay Ooh, the light's really bad here let's do through here so <clears throat> The number three reason why the property taxes in Baltimore City are so high in the Maryland area is because they have so many tax exemptions for a variety of different folks. And that's, I'm gonna tell you the ones that you can apply for, and the one's really easy to do. So make sure you apply for the tax exemptions at the end of this video. I'm gonna actually throw a link down in the description so that way you can make sure your title company actually applies for the one so you don't even have to think about it. So <clears throat> there's a lot of tax exempt properties. That's a reason why tax taxes are so high. Um, sometimes, um, especially with new construction, if you get into new constructions, I'm going to give you a secret, you actually get to apply for a tax exemption for the first year. I think it's like 50% of the taxes. And then every year after that, for the next nine years, it's like 10% different, 10% decreases. So you actually are paying less taxes if 
you buy a new construction the only caveat to that is is that you're the first person that's ever lived there so that's that's pretty much why um, the taxes are so high some other things that accumulate and that contrib uh, contribute to that is like the population uh, the income I mean there's a lot of people here in the city who are low low income and just don't pay them so that's that's a contributing factor to that too so but the best part about this is is that with new construction coming in with the uh, investors redoing the houses and all that um, it really is bringing in it is called urban renewal the whole city is up in urban renewal and they're really uh, you know people good people are moving in from the area because the jobs are just so great and uh, I mean you got like Under Armour you've got uh, John Hopkins you've got the DOD Department of Defense um, Amazon is a big contributor here uh, so you have all these jobs coming in with the jobs come the people people move into the houses and then they pay the taxes so that's a good thing okay so some of the ways you can save in your taxes and this is the thing you want to tell your real estate agent but before we do go ahead and comment down below and I'll send you a free guide buyers guide to Baltimore City and the Maryland area and we'll go ahead and take care of that so if you do that I'll send you the guide appreciate it I'll go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button while you're there hit the notification bell for this video and all the other great videos ah, enough of that stuff <laughs> so anyway um, the one big tax is the uh, fallen hero so for instance if you're a susp uh, surviving spouse of say like uh, someone in the military mainly it's police officers firefighters and that sort um, check with the military thing but I do know that the fallen heroes you don't pay any taxes while you're while you're still surviving and you don't I think you can get remarried but check into it um, you get hundred percent of your taxes paid for the life of the time you live in the city so that's good so that's the one thing we got Ooh, hear that car going in the background hey all right so the fallen hero is one of them and then um, there's two other ones that you can possibly save taxes on. One is if you move in an arts and entertainment district, which I know the one that's right over off of um, 83, um, off of North Avenue, and there's, there's Mechanic College over there, I believe that's it, and that's an all arts district. So if you move into there, there's special taxing circumstances for those neighborhoods. Uh, it comes to mind like Bolton Hill, um, Charles Street, Paul Street, uh, Mount parts of Mount Vernon parts of Hamden so check check with your taxes that'll save you taxes so if you find that you're moving into a house that's in one of the arts and entertainment districts then you can go ahead and save taxes and I think I'm, I've got a sneaking suspicion if they label it like in the middle of Harford County there's one if they label it then you can save taxes on it another way of saving taxes is and you want to make sure your title people do this is you apply for a homestead credit it just simply means you are the homeowner you're living there and this is your homestead uh, usually uh, when you buy the house the taxes are a little higher the title company will automatically appeal because you have 60 days of the time you move in to appeal your tax record so you move in your title company's already did the appeal however if you didn't hear anything about it just make sure you mention it and if your real estate agent doesn't mention it then make sure you mention it to them so that's the third way that you can save money on taxes in the city hey and the other way you can save money is don't move to the city <laughs> I'm going to be brutally honest here. If you don't have to move into the city, it might not be for you. If you don't need to be downtown Baltimore, but your job is here in Maryland, you can move out to Hartford County, Baltimore County. The taxes are exceptionally low. Usually it's about 1% of the value of your house. So if your house is 500,000, you can bet that your taxes are going to be $5,000 a year. So, and that will add you can do the math 5,000 divided by 12. That's what 500, $460. So, and that is if you can avoid if you don't want to pay high taxes avoid Baltimore City it may not be for you and that's okay because there's plenty of other places around Maryland you can move you can move to Hartford County Baltimore County Carroll County and then you can have more yard more house uh, less crime that kind of thing so uh, yeah if you want to avoid taxes I would do that but if you absolutely have to live in this city hey I love the city I love New York City I mean where else can you get like a dollar slice of pizza in the middle of the night well that's New York City you can still get it here too but you gotta look around downtown and do you really want to go downtown in the middle of the night I don't know just up to you so this video was the oh my god the taxes in Baltimore crazy but these are the ways to go to around some of those taxes um, again I'm John I'm the charm city property dude I get a, you know I get a lot of phone calls and text messages and emails from folks just like you I 
absolutely love it. Thank you very much and keep them coming. But if you ever text, call, or email me any day, night, or weekend, don't worry. I've got your back when it comes to real estate. Again, this was fun to put this video together. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check out, I want to say, it's this video right here or that video right here. There you go. And I'm going to redo it to another. Uh -huh. That is what we are. No one in between. How can you be wrong? So sail away with.